hi all uh, today we will check one more scenario and see how we can implement that in azure data factory uh, now suppose uh, we are generating a parameter value and we are passing the parameters and the parameter is comma separated let me say that i am passing the list of department so I have department, I'm passing it as department, HR, finance, passing it as HR, finance, sales. Yes. So suppose in the department I'm passing, I have the parameter as department and in the department I'm passing all these things, HR, finance and sales. So my requirement is I need to read each and every department and, and I need to do some activity based on, I need to do some activity. Uh, I need to read each and every department that I have passed in the parameter and then I need to do some activity. So for that, what I need to do is I need to read this particular department and split this particular value that I'm passing into department so that I can get each department name like is that is HR, finance and sales. I will be reading each and every department one by one. Read each and every parameter value one by one and do some activity. So like suppose say I have passed HR, finance and sales. So first what I will be doing is I will be splitting it. So the first item that I'm reading is HR. So it will read the first item, do the activity. Then again, it will check, do we have any other parameters available or not? So we still have finance and sales. So it will read the next parameter. It will read the finance, read the next parameter and do the activity, do the similar activity. And then it will again, check if there is any other parameter to be read or not. So we still have sales. So it will read the sales and do the activity. And then once the sales is read, there is no further activity. So it will stop the loop. So currently it is going in loop till we have, we have reached to the end of the parameter value. So let's see how we can implement this scenario using ADF. For that, I can create a new uh, pipeline. for each demo and uh, let me search for that uh, uh, activity. So for each is available in this iteration and conditionals. So I will select this for each and I will drag it to the pipeline window. But before that, I will be creating a parameter, a pipeline related parameter. So I need to click outside of this particular activity so that I can see the parameters. So as of now, I don't have any parameter for this. I can click on uh, the param new parameter and provide department. Then I will go to the activity and uh, I can provide appropriate name and then I can go to the setting. So the setting, what I need to do is I need to read, uh, I need to provide, uh, my requirement is I need to read one by uh, one by one, each and every parameter I need to read one by one. So for that, I will be using the sequential so that when I'm using the sequential, it will read each and every line one by one, each and every value one, one by one that is being passed in the item all the values that are available in the item, it will read one by one. So let me go to item and check what is the value that I need to pass to the item. Let me click on this, <laughs> add dynamic content. So my requirement is whatever the data I am passing in the department, I need to split that based on comma separator and then put that value in the item. So for that, what I need to do, here I have that parameter as DPT. I need to split this first. 
So how can I split it? I can go to function, search for split. And here is the function for split. You can see how it is being used. You can see if I have, it is providing with an example also. So here you can see, let me reselect one second so that we can see the example. So here it says split, then the string, then the delimited that I need to use. So let's click on that split. Then my string will be, I, I will be reading department. Then I need to provide the delimiter. So the delimiter is basically comma. Let me click on OK. So my uh, item is now passed. So I will be reading the department value one by one. Then I will go to the activity. So for each value that I'm reading from this uh, item, for each value that I'm having in this item, I will be doing one type of activity. Yeah. So for that, I will be selecting an activity here. I can use set variable. Create a new pipeline variable. Where? <laughs> Provide the value. So how I want to print the value? I want to print the value if I'm reading the HR. So I want to print it as currently in HR department. If I'm reading finance, then I will be reading currently in finance department and similarly for sales also. So how can I implement it? I can go to add dynamic content. I can use concat. So in this function, I can search for concat. So I'll be clicking on this. So here it says how I can provide a what is the syntax for it? You can see here. So I will be passing all the string values. So I will be selecting concat. Then what I want to print currently, currently in, then comma. Then for each current item, you can see that variable is now available for each current item. So I will be selecting this for each current item. which will contain HR and the rest all department. Then so currently in this department, okay, let me click on. Okay. So my, uh, pipeline is now ready. Let's click on validate. So there is no error. Let's run it. So I need to pass it as, I need to pass these values, HR, finance, and sales. Let me pass these values. Now let me execute it. So now you can see. You can see it is reading one by one each uh, uh, each uh, item it is reading one by one and here for each let me see the input so the out item count is three so the item is what the item is basically uh, this one so we have passed hr sales and finance so the item count is three. That is what it is showing here. The item count is three. Let's go to the output. There is no output here. What is being input to the, so we have created a variable called where, and we have passed the values currently HR department. So that is being passed here. 
Similarly, for second, we are in finance. And for third, we are in sales. So this is how we are able to traverse through each and every value that is available in the parameter. And we are able to do one set of activity. So in this session, we checked how for each activity can be used. I hope it is helpful. If it is informative, then please like and share the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.